One thing Apple has changed is their website. Big change to the website. The store is gone. Um, but Apple... Or, or, and it's, it's both... It's, it's, you know... It's, it's gone, gone and it's it, everywhere. It's, it's, it's gone Obi-Wan. You yeah. know, if you strike yeah. me down now, I... More powerful than you possibly imagine. But what do they it's, take it's down everywhere. now before an event? Like, does the whole site come down now for two hours before an event? Well, this I is think, very confusing I think the to point me. is now is it... You're right. <laughs> you, you, I, I never even thought of that because traditionally the store says, we're closed, come back in a minute when we have a new product. But now the store is, as you say, fully integrated into the site. So, and this now, makes now sense. it may make it easier. It may make it easier because it, you don't have to turn it, you know, but it, this may be a much bigger engineering project where now they don't have to necessarily. Now they just take update. away there's the buy just, button, right? There's they, no web object URLs if you look through there. Oh, really? They finally abandoned yeah. it. That's really I don't the, know, but I don't see any. Oh, that would be nice. Poor, I feel so bad for the Apple website guys who had to use web objects long after everybody had abandoned it. So the Poor. buy button is the, is, the, is the change now. So you go to any uh, product... As you, as one would to do research, and instead of then going to the store to buy, you can buy right there. In fact, here we are already in a buy interface just by clicking the iPad. So um, I guess that, yeah, it makes sense. It was a little one thing was hard for me to do, and maybe that's an unusual thing. But people often ask me, what's the difference between, let's say, a MacBook Air and a MacBook Pro? And it used to be you'd go to the store, and it was a lot easier to look at the specs and the numbers. Now you have to kind of go to different sections of the website to see them. There is a compare button, so I guess you can eventually get a comparison going, right? I have to admit, my favorite aspect of this is on the mobile version, there's a hamburger without a patty. And if you click on it, <laughs> it spins around and turns into an animated X and then spins back and goes out of the way. What's a hamburger? With, you mean a two-line hamburger? Yeah, two-line hamburger. <laughs> Some people have called it a falafel. I mean, I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but it's really nicely animated. It's a taco. Everybody knows it's a taco. It's a taco. It's perfect. a taco button. The echo button. Quesadilla. So uh, this is, you know, it's funny. Uh, I don't think it's widely noted, but uh, as somebody who's pays attention, been lately paying attention to web design because of our own redesign, I find this fascinating that they just eliminated the store. It's just there. I think you this is a good, it's a good move? I think by definition it has to be a good move because you have to imagine exactly how much playtesting Apple yeah, did right. and how much how, how much how much sensors they had wired up into the site. God knows how long they've been running this version of the standard Apple store site that was wired up to simply watch how do people move through our site and what right. moves end with them purchasing something. Ah, uh, so I, I they, they have the metrics. You're right. Yeah, they 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 have the metrics and they it's again ABC always be closing. Never put the buy button right. more than like. 10 more than more than four neuron jumps away from that makes you know, the, sense. The, the you know the skinner box reaction and to answer your 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 hypothetical renee i guess if you just you know here i am on the 5k imac and all you do is you just hit that buy button just goes away i mean so you much lose, less dramatic though Leo. i know you lose some of the event event feeling of it right it's going to be the, thing new. That's, the best thing about this to me is that because we've been talking about iTunes and things like that for you know several shows and Apple.com is an incredibly popular site and it had a back end powered by what might not be considered current web technology. And then all of a sudden, like a snap of their fingers, they changed yeah. it and you know they were probably working on it behind the scenes for a very long time. And it has to make you hope that they're working on something similar for the iTunes store because that's a huge sort of technical debt that they're carrying behind them. And one of the reasons why iTunes is the way it is. And if they're doing a some a Similar restructuring there. Maybe at some point we'll just we'll come there and we'll see something new and wonderful at one of these events that they've been building behind the scenes for a couple of years. Have you assigned a uh, uh, I more reporter to look at the source code behind the page and figure out what it is they're doing now? They're just using what looks like really smart implementations of modern web standards. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting. And it is one of the most popular sites on the web. So, like Andy said, you don't change those lightly. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of beautiful if you uh, go to do you know as an example go to the 5K and uh, you know the 5K IMAX page and then as you scroll you figure oh I've got to scroll down right because and as you scroll down look what happens instead of scrolling down the giant image you're looking at recedes into an IMAX and then it scrolls down. That's it's kind beautiful of... unless it's your job to cover Apple and you've got to look at it over and over and over again and it takes you three seconds. Are you sick time. of it? <laughs> no, I mean, I understand that it's not built for me so I can perspective take on it, but uh, like it is beautiful. It just takes a while. I think you nailed it. Always be selling. That's exactly what it is, Andy. This is every well, everything it's, it's, here is a pitch for the product. 
And it's quite a mix of both simplicity and complexity. I mean, I just find that going through it, you don't feel like you're being, you have a lot of stuff being thrown at you, but right. they are packing a lot of options and everything else into it. It's, you know, they, like everything else, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good lesson in how to think through things visually. They must have been testing also, this for years. I mean, this is, geez, Louise. But, but also notice that even the stuff that's important, I mean, this, this is just terrific design. The stuff that's important is also, they, they still have that deck of buttons up at the top so that I don't want the beautiful sales brochure presentation. I just want to see a table that tells me how much RAM is in this thing. Uh, you can still scroll up and you'll, yeah. uh, there's yep. tech specs is still at the top deck. Oh, they're, they, look, they're doing that uh, taco thing here too, Renee. When you yeah. click the grid, the, the X rotates and then, ooh. It's got very smooth animation and very consistently smooth uh, across the web. You know what, that I that tells me they're preloading hundreds of megabytes of stuff <laughs> behind the they scenes. Used, they used to do that for the animations <laughs> on an older version where they would do JPEG slicing before yeah. like web animation. Right, remember that? that yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, little nitpick. Sometimes the button says buy. Sometimes it says buy now. Mm, you're A-B <laughs> testing. You think? I don't know. You're right. If, if do they sell more when it says buy now? Good. We'll say buy now from now on.